Hey guys, today I got the KWA M226 here. This is the 2009 version with the trades. The old one doesn't have any trades. This one does. And they're pretty nice. I mean, real, foot, real steel trades would be a lot better, but this is good too. Professional training pistol is their PTP line. There is no difference between the uh, PTP line and the regular pistols that are not PTP. They both use a uh, NS2 system, so. I mean, the PTP, I think, has a realistic weight, but that's about it. Um, this is based off the um, HNK P226, which is used by uh, the United States Navy SEALs and law enforcement. It comes with its individual serial number. And it has a tactical rail, which I have a laser in mine. The gun is metal alloy. Everything is metal alloy. Um, the only thing that's not metal or whatever that's plastic is the outer barrel right here is plastic but uh, KWA says that it's because it I don't know works better without I mean if a metal slide it'd be more friction I guess whatever the um, one thing you'll notice is if you buy this it will have an orange tip on it. It will extend out to like, I don't know, maybe out to here. But um, I cut mine off because the real one is flush with the barrel. The old ones have orange uh, strip right here on the slide. KW KWA decided not to do that because it was um, hard to get off, I guess. So uh, I used a Dremel to cut mine off. Pretty easy. And um, a Dremel and sandpaper sand it down. Anyway, uh, it has some nice textured grips right here. It has mag release, uh, decocker, which it decocks the um, the trigger hammer, and um, field strip right here. Show you how to do that later. Uh, the gun has no safety as the real one. It's it takes a good bit of force to actually pull the trigger, and same with this one. So basically, if you decock the gun, that's the only safety it has. Um, it has some nice visible white dot sights. Very nice. Um, here is the um, the bolt catch. When the gun's out, it'll catch up, or you know, pull it back. It'll catch right there, right back here. Uh, it has a lanyard right there. It holds about 25 rounds double stack. And put the gas in right there. And when you're lubing it, um, a good tip is really if you're using propane, put some lube inside the propane tank. Or if you have a silicone adapter, put some lube in that. Uh, you don't really need to lube your gun anywhere else. And you want to keep your gun as dry as possible, especially the rail system. I'm going to be shooting at this tin smoothie maker thing. Uh, hit. 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 Do a little side view right there. Hit. 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 Okay, let's see. How about right here? Let's see if I can do that. Hit. Hit. I'm going to do some rapid firing. It's pretty cold out here, probably like 20 degrees now, I'm freezing. Um, the 
gas efficiency goes down unless you rapid fire. Um, in the summertime, it probably won't be that bad, but or in 60 degrees or above. But with being so cold out of here, your gas efficiency is going to go down if you shoot like rapidly. So um, you won't get as many like shots or whatever. These mags, uh, one complete fill of propane or green gas, which is the same thing, uh, will get you about, it will definitely get you one full mag, but if you're lucky, you'll get around two mags. I've gotten two and a half mags before, so it really just depends on the temperature. But To fill up the magazine, you want to bring this spring guide down until it clicks. Make sure that when you you don't release it because if it if you do it's going to hit the top and uh, slam forward basically and damage your BB follower. To fill up mine I use HFC electric BB loader. And then push right there. Go up. This was the video review of the KWA M226 PTP. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews. Have a good one, guys. Mm-hmm.